Good morning. Welcome to this service of morning prayer for March 29th. My name is Susan Drain. I am a lay reader in this Cathedral Church of All Saints in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Today, we remember John Keeble, priest, poet, pastor. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Be still, and aware of the presence of God within and all around. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for this day and for this time when we can turn our thoughts from busyness and responsibility to your light and your peace. We thank you for all your gifts, for your creation around us, for the abundance of your provision for us, for friends and loved ones, and for both the blessings and the challenges that enrich our lives. We thank you for the example of John Keeble, who used his gifts faithfully and humbly to do the tasks that lay before him. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter felt hurt because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Here ends the lesson. Today's reading is one set for the commemoration of a pastor. What else does a pastor do but tend the flock, as Peter promised to do? Well, if you're John Keeble, tending your flock is only a part of your ministry. By all accounts, he was faithful and tireless in his parish duties, but his reputation was such that his flock included far more than those who attended services at his church. All sorts of people wrote to him seeking his spiritual guidance, and he found time to write back kindly, patiently, and humbly. A man must have some principle of his own, he told one inquirer, but no man can lay down his own rule for the standard of another's conduct. I hope you will consider what I have written as being simply the statement of my own rule and some of the ground on which it stands. I should have quoted Keeble when someone asked me recently what I thought I was doing preaching every Tuesday morning. I don't preach, I said. I only speak out loud some of my thoughts and why I have them. Listeners themselves, Keeble said, will be the best able to judge whether it suits your own situation and temperament. But I digress. Keeble was best known in his time for preaching the Assize Sermon at Oxford in 1833, an event which is taken as the moment when began the Oxford movement that reinvigorated the theology and liturgy of the Church of England. Before then, though, he was known and beloved for his book of poetry called The Christian Year, poems that bridged the individual's devotions and the church's worship, and were kept on the bedside tables of thousands of ordinary Christians. Some of Keeble's poems survive in our hymn books. Here is part of his morning poem. Many of you will recognize it. The humbleness of these verses speak to me these days when it seems the world is aflame and I am helpless to do, to do anything much about it. So Keeble. New every morning is the love our wakening and uprising prove, through sleep and darkness safely brought, restored to life and power and thought. 
New mercies each returning day hover around us while we pray. New perils past, new sins forgiven, new thoughts of God, new hopes of heaven. If on our daily course our mind be set to hallow all we find, new treasures still of countless price God will provide for sacrifice. The trivial round, the common task would furnish all we ought to ask room to deny ourselves, a road to bring us daily nearer God. May it be so. Before we turn to the tasks of the day, let us pray for ourselves and for one another. Give us strength for this day. Give us joy in this day. Comfort those who suffer and those who mourn. Send us wherever we are needed and sustain us on our way. Keep us faithful to our trivial tasks and to the prayer that hallows everything. And we pray together in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>